Seafood Sinigang. How's it going? It's Rocky. Today we're going to show you how to make one of my favorite meals, Seafood Sinigang. Ingredients are pampano fish, shrimp or a hipun, ginger or luya, onions or sibuyas, and of course the sinigang na sampalok mix. We have tomatoes from our garden, some greens that we had in our fridge, and an important one is fish sauce or patis. First step is to let the water boil. We're adding the tomato. Ginger. Onions. Cover to let it boil faster. Next, we're adding the pampano fish, which we've cut into uh, one serving per person. Now my favorite, which is the shrimps. You can add as many as you want if it's also your favorite. We're adding the cover back to let it boil. One important tip is to make sure you do not overcook the shrimp. Next is the fish sauce and we're adding about three tablespoons. Make sure to stir gently. Now the most important ingredient which is the Sinigang sa Sampaloc mix gabi which translates to tamarind with taro. This also has additional spices included to it, which gives you the authentic Sinigang flavor. Please make sure to steer the mix gently into the pot. After it's been boiling for a while, this is where we add the greens, which is uh, the last part you add because you do not want to overcook it. Normally what's added is spinach or kangkong, but for us, we just added whatever greens we found in our fridge so it's, we don't want to waste any vegetables. Again, please do stir gently.
Make sure to taste the soup or sabao and basically add more spices as needed. After 30 minutes, the sinigang is now ready to be enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed this video of the seafood sinigang. Again, I want to go through the ingredients that we use, which are pretty simple. We have the pampano fish and the shrimp. You can also use bangus or milkfish. We got tomatoes, ginger, onions, the greens, and the patis, and of course the sampalo, sinigang na sampalo mix. Hope you enjoyed the video of us cooking the seafood sinigang. What we hope is to be able to do additional videos of this. Please check out the description for the ingredients that we used and please comment if you have any other meals you'd like to see or suggestions on how to make our, our sinigang better. Alright, have a good one and I'll see you next time.